As parents, our natural inclination is to protect our kids from bad news, including about the economy and our own finances. But today's environment provides some unbeatable opportunities for important financial lessons, ones that can last a lifetime. And here with everything you need to know about teaching your kids some solid financial values in today's economy is Fox 29 Common Sense lawyer Sherry Olofsson. Hi, Sherry. Good, Good to morning. see you. Uh, why are solid financial values even more important today than they used to be? Well, you know, it's a different world than when we grew up, John, and there are four sort of core elements that add to that. The first is the fact that most Americans are earning less money now than before. So budgeting is essential. You have to know how to make ends meet. There's just no elbow room. The second issue is the fact that the U.S. government is operating at such a huge deficit. We've heard of this fiscal mm -hmm. cliff. Mm -hmm. We know that Social Security, Medicare, and a lot of government programs are at risk, which means we've got to be more self-reliant, which means savings. Mm -hmm. The third is the fact that globally there are all kinds of uncertainty in Europe and other parts of Isn't the world. That the truth? And we know that the only proven way to hedge against that is with diversification. And last is the fact that credit is the fact is it's available to anyone mm -hmm. but for a price. So you really need to know how to handle credit. Those are things we didn't have to deal with as much as kids. And so mm -hmm. the world is just a, you know the consequences are bigger, it's more complicated and frankly there are more temptations to right. spend. It was a smaller world when we were coming up Much it's a whole simpler. different ball game now right so how do we teach these lessons well this this economy provides some wonderful opportunities the key is keeping it top of mind and really taking advantage of it so budgeting for example the best way to teach that is what our parents did with allowances yeah. it's a good idea to get your kids involved in actually setting their allowance so they understand from the get-go what it's for but the grocery store back to school shopping writing your own household bills are all great opportunities mm -hmm. for for budgeting when it comes to savings mm -hmm. kids love and who wouldn't love the idea of matching so matching right. especially for your younger kids and older kids need to learn that you pay yourself first mm -hmm. when it comes to diversification I love the 40 30 20 rule where your kids take 40 percent of their allowance they can spend it now 30 percent is for short-term savings an iPhone a new video game 20 percent is for long-term savings and 10 percent to charity and the scariest part of this is credit at some point when your kids get to be <laughs> older teenagers you've got to let them experiment with credit make sure they understand the agreement and the consequences for not paying right. I I like that rule, 40, 30, 10. 10? Uh, 40, 30, 20, 20. 10. Yeah, okay. I was going to say it's so one. easy to remember yeah. and then you forgot. 40, 30, 30, 20, 10. I like that though. No, and the matching is also very good. You exactly. Know? With my daughter, I mean, if she gets a quarter, then I'll give her a quarter and both go in the piggy bank. She right. loves that. And, and you know, the foreclosure crisis itself is a great opportunity. Mm -hmm. We see the word foreclosure all around when right. you're driving. It's important to make sure you explain to your kids what that means. And this translates to those core values. So saving up for a down payment, budgeting and not spending more than a third of your income on your housing. Mm -hmm. When you use your credit, understanding what a mortgage is and reading the mortgage and understanding the consequences of not paying it are all silver linings today, opportunities right. we have to really make the best of the situation. That's right. Teach them while they're young and as they go along, give them as much information as they can absorb and keep and on teaching. And set a good example yourself. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. All right. Great. Thank you for being here. We'll sure. see you again next week. Take care. All right. Let's go back over to the news desk.